Bob, explain who Rube Foster was, how he started the Negro Leagues, and what the real true vision of what he yeah. saw and where it ended up at. Well, Rube was an absolute genius. There is no question in my mind that Rube Foster is really the most brilliant baseball mind this sport has ever seen, and really nobody knows who the hell he is, even though he is rightfully inscribed <laughs> in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Harold, he was light years ahead of his time. Rube Foster had been a great player in the early era of black baseball, great pitcher. As a matter of fact, as a pitcher, he is credited with having invented what we now know to be the screwball. Back then, it was called a fadeaway, and Rube perfected this pitch, so much so that the great major league manager, John McCraw, snuck Rube into his camp so that Rube Foster could teach Christy Matheson how to throw the screwball. Mm. But as you well know, Christy Matheson threw the pitch all the way into the National Baseball Hall of Fame, but Foster never really got credit for this. In 1922, the retired Matty displayed his grip on the old apple for the last time. But Foster was best known as this visionary, this tremendous leader. He would organize the Negro Leagues here in a meeting that took place at the Purcell YMCA in 1920. He would become president of the Negro Leagues. He owned the Chicago American Giants. He managed the Chicago American Giants. And as a manager, Rube Foster was known to fine his ball players as much as $5 if you were tagged out standing up. Yeah, you were supposed to slide. That's a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, no, that's a lot of money in the early 1900s. But he was such a visionary that Rube Foster, when he created the Negro Leagues, thought that he would create a league, Harold, that was so dynamic that he would force Major League Baseball to expand. So under his model, which would have been similar to the AFL-NFL merger, the ABA merging with the NBA, we would have seen black teams come into the fold. And under Foster's model, you would have had complete integration of our sport. It wouldn't have been just the field focus. It would have been as well in the hierarchy of, of operations in this game. Because as you know, there were black folks fulfilling every aspect of the business of the game of baseball. And, and so... General manager, absolutely. president, owner, owners, players, coaches, coaches managers. Team, team secretaries, traveling secretaries, team physicians. Every aspect of black baseball was being fulfilled by very talented, gifted black folks who didn't get that chance after the game was integrated on the field. They kind of lost their way. You know, they lost those opportunities. Foster was so forward thinking that he was thinking about that way back then. He was legitimately light years ahead of his time.